What's going on people, it's me the real Mossy with a Sony Vegas tutorial for you. This tutorial is for gamers who want to edit their videos and upload them to YouTube. I'm going to show you the best project and rendering settings for both SD and HD gameplay. So let's get started. Alright, when you open Sony Vegas, you'll come to a screen that looks like this. From here, you need to set the project settings. You can either go to File and select New, or select Properties, and you'll end up with this window. I'll show you the SD project settings first. If you're using Dazzle, EasyCap, or any other standard definition video capture device, go with these project settings. Width should be 720, height 480, this is the standard 4x3 standard definition screen size. For field order, you have to check the properties of your standard definition video. I have an SD video here. Right click the video track and select properties. Go to the media tab and it'll tell you the native field order. It'll also tell you the native pixel aspect ratio. Just match these in your project settings. Our field order is upper field first and pixel aspect ratio is 1. And you want the output rotation at 0 degrees. Make sure the frame rate is at 29.970 NTSC and don't worry about the 3D settings. The only things you need to change at the bottom part here are the full resolution rendering quality. You want this to be at best. And the deinterlace method, you want this at blend fields for SD video. I found that blend works best for SD and interpolate works best for HD. Then give it a name. I named it YouTube Gaming SD and click save. If you want all your future projects to use this setting, select this option at the bottom and press apply and OK. Alright, let's move on to the HD project video settings. If you use an HD PVR, Roxio Game Cap or any other HD recording device, go with these project settings. We can go with the preset option here. So click the template section and select HDV 720-30p. It should have all the right settings laid out for you up here. Screen size 1280 by 720 progressive scan pixel aspect ratio at 1 and frame rate at 29.970 NTSC. On the bottom portion here again you'll want to change the full resolution rendering quality to best and this time you want the deinterlace method to be interpolate fields. That's it. Give it a name and save it like last time. Let's move on to the rendering settings. The rendering settings will be the same for both SD and HD raw footage except for one difference. I'll let you know what that is when I get there. When you're done editing and you're happy with your final product, go to File and select Render As, and this window will pop up. First, select the location to save your video, then give it a name. Then click the Save As Type tab, and this confusing mess will pop up. Select Main Concept AVC slash AAC. This will render your video in MPEG-4 format. I found this to be a happy medium. You get excellent quality and the file sizes are still manageable. If you go with WMV or AVI, you would get great quality, but the file sizes would be insanely large. I rendered a 15 second test video in AVI and it was over 2.5 gigabytes, so I chose to stick with MPEG-4. Once you select it, click custom and this window will pop up. Make sure the option that says include video is checked, otherwise there will be no video in your video. Okay, select custom, frame size and input 1280 as a width and 720 as a height. Do not check the box for the option that says allow source to adjust frame size. The profile should be main and frame rate should be 29.970 NTSC. Field order should be none or progressive scan and pixel aspect ratio should be 1 again. Leave the number of reference frames at 2 and leave this checked. Alright here select variable bitrate and here's where the difference between SD and HD comes into play. If you have SD gameplay, go with an average bits per second of 3 million and a max of 6 million. At this bit rate, a 6 minute video would be about 150 megabytes. If it's HD gameplay, go with a 6 million average and an 8 million max. At this bit rate, a 6 minute video would be about 300 to 350 megabytes, which is manageable. If you have a lot of space on your hard drive, you can increase the bit rates to your liking, but after a certain point, increasing it further won't make too much of a difference in quality. Alright, let's move on to the audio. Again, make sure the include audio option is checked. Leave the sample rate alone. As for the bit rate, for all general gameplay videos, 128 kilobits per second should be enough. But if you have very high quality audio, you might want to increase this to 256 or even higher if you want to. That's up to you. Then move on to the project tab and make sure the video rendering quality is at best. Now name this template and save it, then click OK. 
Make sure the stretch video to fill output frame size option is checked and click save to render your video. Well that's it guys, I will have more Sony Vegas tutorials for you soon. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe if you want more. Thanks again, I'm The Real Mossy, tell your friends about me.